there's no denying it. The new car buyer is winning at the moment, in a big way. While the small car segment is showing signs of decline, there has never been as much buyer choice as there is right now. And, it's especially the case if you're after a sporty hatch. Hyundai has fired out of the blocks with a brand new 2017 Hyundai i30 range, headlined, for now, by a pair of warm hatches that have spurred our interest. One of the most enticing is the Hyundai i30 SR manual and we wanted to find out whether it's cheap and cheerful, or if there's more beneath the skin. To spot an i30 SR in traffic, you'll want to look for dual exhaust outlets, chrome highlights and SR badges. It's particularly impressive in premium trim, where LED elements take over the exterior and make it pop at night time. The SR range consists of the entry-level SR manual, as tested here, which starts from $25,950, plus on-road costs, and moves all the way through to the SR Premium Automatic, which taps out at $33,950 plus on-road costs. Sporty alloy wheels show off a small set of brakes, while a hunkered down stand signals the vehicle's sporty intentions. Hyundai will build on this design when the newly revealed i30N hot hatch is released later this year, a car that will go head to head with the likes of the Volkswagen Golf GDI. Inside the cabin, the racy theme continues with red seat and dashboard highlights, along with contrast stitching in the steering wheel. It's subtle, but quite nice flagging the intentions lurking beneath the skin. Under the bonnet is a pumped-up turbocharged four-cylinder petrol engine. Producing 150 kilowatts of power and 265 newton meters of torque, the 1.6-liter engine is mated to a six-speed manual transmission. On the combined cycle, it consumes just 7.5 liters slash 100 kilometers with the manual gearbox. Hit the starter button and... and... Well, it's actually not that exciting. In fact, it sounds almost identical to the starter motor noise of the old Hyundai gets. Instead of greeting the driver with a mild burble or splutter on start, it sounds incredibly docile and innocent. Not ideal for a car meant to be a warm hatch. Unfortunately, lack of noise is a common theme amongst Korean cars. In fact, Kia's Australian arm is currently working overtime to ensure the Kia Stinger actually sounds good when it launches locally in September.